I like the concept of Tenacious D. And what I like about it is I was watching your video last night of the song you guys wrote about roadies. You know? Yeah. yeah. The video is hysterical because yeah. this guy, they're, they're auditioning people for a roadie job. And the first guy walks in and he's got every accoutrement that a roadie would have. He's uh -huh. got he's got the, the beard tied up with, band -aid, with uh, rubber bands <laughs> and he's got an all black outfit right. on. And they go, you know, we're going to hire this guy. We're not going to interview any more roadies. And it's a, it's this great song, but the, the music, I feel, has gotten more sophisticated with you guys. It has. We've taken it to a deeper level, I think. Thank you for noticing. Yeah. Well, yeah, because I, I feel, to me, Tenacious D was more of a joke in the beginning. Like, I know you guys were having a rock star fantasy with it, but it came off to me as more of a joke. This album feels like more of an album. Like music. Well, you know, when we when we came out with our first album, we were kind of the only joke band going. Right. But now the landscape has changed, and there's some great joke bands. The Lonely <laughs> Island Boys from Saturday Night Live have, have uh, incredible songs, incredibly funny songs, and, and uh, a Flight of the Concords. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw their show. They they they. Uh, so there's a lot more competition. So we had to take it up a notch, and the only way we could compete with them was to take it more seriously. Where are you guys at musically now, anyway, in terms of your own taste? Is there anybody... I know that the guy from the Foo Fighters, Dave Grohl, yes. is, in, is on your album and plays drums. Yes. Which is a great honor because he was the drummer in Nirvana. He's the greatest drummer alive. He is. That's what. That's the coup. How did yeah. we get out of this joke band get... Is he on every, is he on yeah. every track? Yeah, he's wow. on every track. And he's... Uh, you know, How did you get him? Did you... I mean, he's just you... down with the D. He, he saw us before we were big. You know, we were playing at the Viper Room and... He's just a huge fan of, of music. So what, what are your musical influences? At the top of my list, I would probably put Zeppelin. Who else do you like? If I'm going to be honest, right. there was a period of Billy Joel in there. Why what's is that? Wrong what's Billy wrong Joel? with Billy Joel? He's one of the greatest artists of all time. Okay, good. True. There, there you go. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not all heavy yeah. metal. I mean, but be, this guy's a great songwriter. Well, okay, but come on, Kyle, back me up here. Well, there I was think that Sticks little. is probably a little cheesy. Yeah, okay, that and was Sticks. Era. Sticks. Yeah, they were a big influence on me. <laughs> Lady <laughs> of the Earth. No, but <laughs> I'd rather be a blue collar man. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like Yes? I band, loved yes. Yes, yes yeah, is yes. great. Well, yes, yeah. Yeah. Well, they were the masters of their instruments. Ever, no one could touch them for musicianship. Right. right. They were all like master class Juilliard trained. Right. Yeah. But I remember my big turnaround was Ozzy Osbourne when I got Blizzard of Oz. Uh, yeah. That's what changed the story for me. That's when I tapped into the hard stuff. Because Tenacious D is. But Tenacious D isn't really hardcore rock. I mean, it's but it, the music is solid. Thank you. 